So, uh, hi guys, uh, my name is Ravi Sharma. I lead uh, analytics globally for AB InBev, which is also the world's largest beer company. And uh, we have an analytics COE, Center of Excellence in India, where we have 150 data scientists, uh, which we have recruited in the last two years. Our dream is to become the analytics-driven company not only a data-driven company, but a company that has analytics DNA. And ABI is a company of dreams. When we open a gap, and we establish that as a critical uh, milestone in our dream, we really go all out. So that's why from having no data scientists on our payroll 18 months ago, to 150 data scientists in India today, uh, that is the acceleration with which we are moving towards this dream. See, we have created a full service uh, analytics COE. Our mandate uh, in a hub and spoke model is to build analytical solutions at scale. So currently we service top 40 markets, six zones that cover all of these markets uh, in different domains. So we have literally created a full service in-house analytical firm, if you will, right? So with different domains. So we have a pricing domain that caters to a revenue management function in which we actually talk, we actually measure consumer sensitivity to price, to demand price elasticity, uh, cross price elasticities, discount elasticities, promo performance, and it's all predictive and uh, geared towards forward-looking optimization. We also have multi-dimensional forecasting capability that actually predicts industry beer volumes all the way to brewery level SKU volumes to manage demand. We also have marketing spend effectiveness domain where we are measuring media ROI or media return on investment. ABI happens to be one of the world's largest advertisers. We spend $11 billion on commercial demand spend and it is our job and COE's responsibility to measure ROI on every dollar that we spend to engage our consumers to influence them to buy our products. We also have a contact strategy pillar where we are enabling platform development to actually uh, route a lot of our sales from physical uh, sales reps to online channels. Okay, so, and, and, and in those channels, we're actually inspired by a lot of e-commerce companies like Amazon, JD.com in China, so that we can actually build these microservices and recommendation engines for our vendor partners so that they can not only buy what they currently buy today for their consumers, but also recommend them based on the velocity of the other SKUs that could also help them to grow their category sales. Okay, so it's a full service uh, operation and uh, we are only getting started in India. Yeah, so so I think it's, it's a very interesting question. So first of all, uh, we are not for, we are not chasing market share. What we chase is profitable market share. Uh, we are also not a value player in the marketplace, especially in India. We are what I call as the iPhone of the beer industry. So we are the super premium category. If you look at our beer portfolio, since we are in India, if you look at our portfolio in India, we have Budweiser, Corona, Stella Artois, Lefe, Ho Garden, Buck Size. I mean, these are super premium brands which are aspirational consumers in India. They're highly appreciating. And these are not cheap brands compared to the local established competition in India, right? So globally, if you also read about us, we have the highest EBITDA margins in the beer industry, okay? I mean, we have, we have almost 55 to 60% profit pool share of the global beer market. And that is because we play in super premium segment. So we are not just in the business of uh, chasing market share, we are always chasing profitable market share. Now in terms of how data and analytics can help us to win market share, profitable market share, we actually have a framework called category expansion uh, model, which relies on market maturity, as well as integration of different types of commercial levers, which deploy a lot of these data solutions on pricing, forecasting, media investments, media planning, uh, B2B as I talked about, and we all fuse them together into an analytics playbook for our zone partners who execute within these recommendations and guardrails so that they can optimize every dollar that they spend in order to grow our market share.
Yeah, so I think even for new product uh, introduction, we rely on our category expansion model, which actually scores every market on four or five tiers from you know, nascent to highly mature market. And then in terms of pricing, we go from you know, introducing affordability, like for example, if you are in Africa or in India, could we also introduce some of the brands that satisfy affordability equation for the consumers to super premium. So we, we do not launch any products or enter any market without due diligence and market research. So there's a very sophisticated method and due diligence framework that enables us to actually be successful in every market that we enter. So I think, I, I like to say uh, this a lot. So up until now, we have been an investment bank that sells beer. So our parent company is 3G Capital, uh, which also owns some very large, very, very large companies in their portfolio with AB InBev, their crown jewel. But we want to evolve this company from an investment bank that sells beer to a technology company that sells beer. Okay? And, and this is not an option anymore. This is not optional. This is really based on survival, right? So we cannot rely on uh, intuition or gut in order to drive these uh, billion dollars of investment decisions as, we have, as we, have, we have done in the past, right? So that is the mandate that we have from our board, from our highest leadership. And as I just gave an example today, uh, for media return on investment, each 1% improvement in ROI, we know the quantification of the net revenue and macro impact it can generate for us. So we are very, very surgical about leveraging data science to guide these decisions for every level of the organization and the company. And in terms of our growth, today we have a hub and spoke model with 150 people. Given the demand and the scale we have as a company, we think that this function could double in size in the next two years. So we're going to be a very large employer in India. However, we are not just looking for any ordinary talent. The talent needs to conform to our culture, which is very different and unique from any other company that exists on this planet. Uh, we also are entering into new gaps. That will also mean we'll continue to co-create these solutions with a lot of these strong partners in India. That's why we came to India to invest in this ecosystem, and we are already benefiting from that. So yeah, I think uh, we are very bullish on uh, enabling ABI's dream through our collaboration uh, with India, and then hopefully our dream is to export or start exporting data science professionals from India into other zones so that we can democratize analytics at ABI. So if you Google us anywhere about our culture, so there are three things that come up about ABI. It's dream people culture. So dream, I talked about briefly today, we are a company of dreams, uh, from a very small company in Brazil 15 years ago to becoming the world's largest company in seven years. That obviously explains our ambition and big dreams we have. People we value very much. We don't look at you or anybody else as an employee. We look at you as a co-dreamer enabling those big, bold dreams. And then on the culture side, when we, when we hire you as a co-dreamer, we want you to be an owner. Every employee at ABI is an owner. Who is an owner? In my definition, an owner at ABI is someone who has an idea and believes in the transformative power of the idea to change the company, to transform the company, and will not go away until that idea is executed because we believe in the power of the idea, because we take our results personally. Sense of urgency, we are never satisfied. These are all our cultural values, which are front and center. And we like to joke uh, among us uh, a lot, uh, either you love working for ABI, or I'm not gonna say what the other analog is. First of all, you know, thanks for having us here. Uh, I think it was a great honor and a privilege to interact with a uh, lot of uh, you know, industry leaders as well as budding professionals in this space. I also want to thank uh, uh, Analytics Magazine, India Magazine, uh, as well as uh, your founder, 
And uh, in terms of our experience, see, in the last two years, we have been busy developing solutions because when we came to India, frankly speaking, analytics was not new to us. However, it was done in a siloed manner. So we needed to quickly scale up our COE to consolidate these capabilities together and to build that right foundation, which we have now done. This year, we believe we are ready to tell our story to the external partners. And why we are telling this story to the external partners? Because I'm not a measurement company. I'm a beer company. I want you guys or any other external partner to pitch new ideas to us, open new gaps for us. We want to hire the best and the smartest. We go to the top 15 institutes in India, but we want to handpick every core dreamer who will enable us in this dream for the next 100 years. Okay, so our experience here gives us that opportunity to communicate that message as well as personally interact with them by spending our time here. So I think uh, it's, it's just first of our uh, engagement with you guys as well as the overall community and uh, look for many more to come. Cool? Thank you very much. It's a great honor and a privilege to have you guys, uh, to interact with you guys here. Cool?